Hi everyone. Um, so my artistic practice is based around drawing and mixed media as well as digital media, kind of extensions of those traditional media. Um, I work a lot with animation, but particularly 2D animation that's shot mostly under the camera. Um, so these are a few of some shots of my studio set up in um, a few residencies that I've been lucky enough to have over the last few years where, I, where I've kind of developed my practice. Um, this is the first augmented reality work that I made. It's called Pranata Mangsa, and I made it after an AsiaLink arts residency in Indonesia in 2017. It's based on traditional knowledge uh, of farming practices, based on the observance of certain constellations at different times of the year and what they mean for farmers in terms of what the, um, the natural, natural phenomena associated with their observance. So I conveyed that through AR by make, making an app that triggered animations of those natural occurrences to play when it, was, when it recognized a star map that was printed on those prints that you can see in the gallery there. Um, so after that, I wanted to experiment more with image targets, but how I could um, play with other materials that to be recognized by the camera in AR. Um, so I started with leaves. I thought that would be really interesting. And also tried tree stumps and rocks. Um, I discovered that the green leaves in particular were quite interesting to work with because the camera would recognise a digital print of the leaf, but not the real leaf itself. Um, whereas with the rocks and the tree stumps and the autumn leaves after I'd kind of varnished them, then it recognised the natural object itself. Um, so I developed that into this installation called Second Nature, where these natural objects emitted... I was kind of imagining a world where nature emitted digital signals. So I, um, put in Bluetooth signal, Wi-Fi signal, lost data connections and a personal hotspot onto those objects. Um, accompanying that AR installation, I made a VR scene using 3D models of the augmented reality objects to kind of further play with the, the boundary between virtual and physical space. Um, so then I wanted to move that out of the gallery to um, actual objects in the natural landscape. And I made this app called Sediments at Bundanon Trust for SiteWorks Festival in 2018. So this was testing that idea in the studio using prints. Um, and then this is what it looked like in the natural landscape. Um, so I actually animated three layers of different kind of visual aesthetics to go over the rocks. The blue painted animation is of the Shoalhaven River, a map that kind of connects up over this, this group of nine rocks. And then I also had hand-drawn animation of the moss. And the coloured layer, which you can see in the still image, is based on microscopic images of sandstone. And that's people using it. Um, so through that app, um, I became really interested in how AR could help visualise different layers of temporality operating in the natural environment. Um, so that was the last finished work that I'm going to talk about, but I've got a few more kind of experiments that I'm working on at the moment that I thought I would show. Um, this is a collaboration that I begun late last year with some rainfall scientists in Paris while I was on a residency. Um, these are 3D models of rainfall data. Um, and you can, in the app, you can kind of zoom in and change their scale. And also thinking about rainfall, um, I was working with the structure of a kind of domino game in AR to think about water levels in flooding and the culmination of water levels um, over time and tipping points within climate change. Um, and then just some other kind of playful ones I've been working on on my own is um, shells. Um, so I've, 
I'm wanting to collect a lot of, well, 26 at least, <laughs> shells that I can augment with different um, letters of the alphabet conveyed through maritime signal flags. Um, and this is to kind of think about the communicative ability of natural objects um, and trees as well, which is what I'm working on here. So um, working with tree rings is my next kind of challenge, I guess. Um, scribbly gum bark and these, this plant here on the right is a live data feed in AR where each leaf shows a different temperature um, of a different city in Australia. So at the moment I'm developing this up for an event called Thinking Trees in Melbourne next month. And that's it from me.